In this video, we are asked to solve for the inverse Laplace transform of that expression on the board. So right now, what we are going to do is this. The denominator is already factorized. So we are just going to express this in its partial fraction component. Solve for the numerators and evaluate as inverse Laplace. So right now, the first thing I will be doing is 4s squared minus 17s minus 24 divided by s bracket s plus 3 bracket s minus 4 this will be giving me first thing i'll do is a over s because that's the first factor i have at the bottom plus b over second guy is s plus 3 then plus c over s minus 4 so that's what i have so let me find my a first of all i think i'll be doing the calculator in this one because these numbers are big okay so what's that is what's at the bottom of a? We have what s. So right now we have to say s is equal to zero. That's the cover up rule. You can watch the video over there if you have not yet watched it. So we have s. S has to be equal to what zero. So right now anyway, I see s at this part. I'm gonna make it equal to zero. So this guy, everything here is gonna be zero minus zero minus twenty four divided by this s here cannot be zero. You can't express that because we cannot use it that's why it's called cover up rule we're going to cover up the s that we use to make our substitution so right now s plus 3 here what will be remaining 3 times what will be remaining here minus 4 remember that you said s should be what 0 okay so this will become what will be left here minus 24 over what will be left here minus 12 so this will give you what 2 at the end of the day this is the time where i grab calculator okay so that's your what? A. B is going to become, what is at the bottom of B? S plus 3. So I'm going to say let S plus 3 be equal to what? 0. So S will then become what? Minus 3. So I'm going to say S should be minus 3. Anyway, see S here is going to be what? Minus 3. So this is S. Minus 3 squared is what? 9. So this is 4 times 9. Then minus 17 times minus 3 will give me what plus 51 then i have what minus 24. everything divided by s we said s should be what minus 3 so this minus 3 bracket this s plus 3 since that was what we used for our substitution we're not going to put minus 3 there so it's going to come here minus 3 minus 4 will give me what minus 7. okay so all this become at the end of the day 4 times 9 is 36, then we have plus 51 minus 24. So this is going to be giving me what? 63 divided by 3 times 7 will give me what? 20 what? 1. 63 over 21 is going to give me 3 at the end of the day. So that's my result. C. Okay, to get our C, to get our C, what at the bottom of C? S minus 4. If you say s minus 4 should be equal to 0, s will be equal to what? 4 at the end of the day. So anyway, you see s, you are going to be putting what? 4. So let us put 4 at s squared. 4 squared is what? 16. 16 times 4 will give us what? 64. Then minus 17 times 4 will give me 68. Then minus what? 24. Divided by s is 4. So this is 4 times 4 plus 3 what would that give to me that will give me what 7 so this will then become 64 minus 68 what would that give to me minus 4 minus 4 minus 24 is what minus 28 divided by 4 times 7 is 28 so what will be the answer of this minus 1 so right about now these expressions that we've gotten this result that we've gotten we're going to find their inverse Laplace transform after substituting the values into their partial fraction components. So right now, this would be the inverse Laplace transform of, we have A over S. What was our A? 2. So this is 2 over S. Then plus B. What was our B? 3. So this is the inverse Laplace of 3 divided by S plus 3 then plus inverse Laplace of what is our c c is minus one this is minus one over s minus four 
because we have c over s minus 4 that's y so right now let us find the inverse laplace of everything that i can find on the board what is the inverse laplace of 2 over s this will give you just 2 because for you to get 2 over s it means the um, function that was transformed is actually a constant plus now first of all this 3 is a constant so this is 3 if you have over s plus 3 this is exponential minus 3t then plus okay we have minus 1 here so I'm going to say minus 1 so this is minus exponential 4t exponential 4t because we have x minus 4 here so everything that I've just done right now, this is going to be giving you the final result to that very question. Thank you very much for watching this very video. Bye.